here's what we're going to build. It's a little application where you click on a department and you see the department and the employees that work here, here on the right side. Okay, like that. So to do that, we're going to start with a department and employee business objects. In the employee object, we have a department field that is a reference field that points to the department. So when we go over here, for example, and we update an employee, we can say which department they work in, like that. So the next thing we're going to do is to show you that um, this relationship is defined over here. And if you click on it and edit it, you'll be able to turn on the access from one object to the other. So by default, this access doesn't exist from the master to the detail. You probably want to enable it for what we're going to do next. Okay. So next we're going to design a little UI for our application. We'll drop a couple of panels over here and reorganize them so they'll be side by side. And then into one of them we're going to drop a little a list item which would show us the list of departments. So we'll put it over here on the left side. We'll use the wizard to add data um, from our department business object. Choose the template and choose the fields you want to show. We're going to just show department name over here. Okay, and the ID is the uh, default uh, identification of each role. So this is the left side and now we can um, configure the right side. So on the right side we're going to have a couple of input text components to show us the information about the department object. So one and let's take another one put it here and then after those we're going to put in a table. And of course for each one of those you can set up for example the title so we'll show the name of the department, the maximum salary in this department and let's bring in the table down below those two items. So now that we have the layout, next thing we want to do is define the variables that actually would hold the values for those components. So to do that we're going to go into the variables and we're going to define a new data type and here we're going to use the data type from endpoint and we'll use the method for getting a specific department. Okay, now if you look here, because we enabled the accessors from one to the other, we also have here a link to the employees that work in each department. So we can now select the fields both from the employee and the department to be returned in a single transaction, single REST call. Okay, so this would be called the get department type. And now we're going to define a variable uh, of this type. I just call it uh, GDP, the get department and it's going to be based on this data type. Now because we also have a table, we are going to add another variable of type array data type to um, be the backend for our table. So array data type like this, and this is the two variables. Now we can go back to the UI and hook up each one of the UI components to those variables. So from the GDP we're going to pick up the department and the max salary for those two fields up here. And then the table, we're going to set the data for the table to be coming from our ADP for table. Okay. And then we just need to add a couple of columns that we want to show here. So we can define an empty column, switch to the edit mode here and give the name of the column and the actual field that we want to show. So we'll use one for the name. Let's add another field over here and this one would be for the salary. So put in salary here and salary here. Okay, so what we are now left with is actually hooking up the operation to fetch the record. So to do this we're going to set the list to allow single row selection and define an event here which is the selection event on the list. First thing we're going to do is we're going to call a REST service and this would call the REST service that returns a department. Okay, so this is the endpoint. We're going to provide the input parameter which is the department ID which we picked up from the selection event. Okay, 
And now the important thing here is that we also want to set the type of data being returned here. Okay, so the response type down here, we want it to be the same response type that includes both department and employees. And then there's a little magic that Visual Builder does here, and it will return both the department and the employees. After we got the values back, we're going to use an assign variable to assign the variable that is returned from this into the variables in the page. So uh, the GDP has the same structure as what is returned, so we'll just map it one to one. And then the ADP has this data object which we want to map to the items under the employee collections. Okay, so we'll map it like this directly. One more thing we want to do here is we want to set the reset of the target to be empty. So each time that we're assigning a value into the data, we're going to first empty the array and then assign the value. All right, so now we can switch over to the uh, application and let's switch over to live mode. Let's refresh the page for a second and look at it in live mode. And now when you click on the department, you can see the information about the department and the employees all fetched in a single uh, REST call.